6 o'clock on Thursday, March 21st, the vernal equinox, right? Mm -hmm. So for the next six months, we get more daylight than darkness, which is a nice thing. Um, first thing, are you laughing at me? Set a just agenda. I'm in a mood. You're in a mood. Uh, do we have to change anything? And we've got, holy cow, it doesn't legally We paper. might, I have not heard um, about the executive session. So there might not be any action there. So I'm, we might not have any changes. So we might not need it. We might not need it. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to leave it on there and just not go into executive session if we don't need to? We could. Okay, let's do that. Um, anything else? All right, let's roll with the agenda as written. Communication from the audience? I have communication from the audience. Oh, excellent. That I'd like to share. So this communication is from Gene Hackett mm -hmm. to the select board. The select board and anyone else involved. I was delighted by the surprise in the town report. Many thanks to your part in making this happen. I have truly enjoyed almost my almost 54 years in Hardwick. It has been a real privilege to be involved in many different town activities. Thanks again to all of you, Gene Hackett. Excellent. I'm glad she appreciated the gesture. Yep. <coughs> she certainly has contributed a lot to this town over the years in many different ways. Yep. Um, Excellent. So next, select board to approve minutes from last time, our last regular meeting on March 7th. I can motion to approve the regular select board meeting minutes of March 7th. Does anybody want to second, second that? Second it. Um, sounds good. I was going to make a pithy remark, and now I forgot what it was, so I can't. All right. All in favor of approving minutes as written, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, next is a uh, town manager report given by Mr. Upson. Okay, um, so the uh, Tracy Martin uh, completed the EWP, which is the Emergency Watershed Protection Grant, and that has been submitted. So it's for those three properties. Oh, right. Yep. Um, the bio. Yep. No, not the bio. No, the, the, the watershed the, protection. The, the, uh, the armoring bank, of the bank. Armoring the yep. bank. Um, so that we've just submitted everything Great. that basically that they provided to us. So we're in yep. for that. Awesome. Um, closings are scheduled for two buyouts on Monday, the Stevens property on School Street and the motel property. Great. So after that happens, um, we will hire somebody to come in and clean it up and restore the property, return it back to its natural state. Um, which is covered in the grant to buy those properties out. That work. Yep. Good. Yep. Um, we now have our second obligated project for the FEMA. Um, we have, they've moved several of the emergency measures projects to a simplified application. So we're able to move a lot of that stuff through faster. And we'll just have to certify if the state decides to audit us, the, we'll just have to provide all of our information. So rather than plugging it all into the grant, um, we'll just... You just have to have it. We have to have it. And we have to certify that we have it for the emergency projects where we've spent money. That sounds much simpler. Yep. Um, they had to get approval to do it. So... Um, I'll skip that one for now. So I've requested a second uh, temporary bridge for Hardwick Farms, a wider bridge um, that the VTrans is helping us out with. Uh, so that more to come on that, but I'm hoping to alleviate the problem for Lagasses in the very near future and not Um Great. Can I have a quick question about that? Are we basically swapping that bridge out or are we using that somewhere else? Just swapping it with the trans? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they're going to they're gonna do the alignment. So they're going to help us kind of run the project. That's great. Yep. Um, the eclipse, just do like a PSA for the eclipse. Um, <laughs> 
the road, all the roads will be open. We've had some questions about people asking if the roads are going to be open. I guess the state has um, given some guidance that to limit travel on the roads during those times because there's going to be a lot of traffic. In part, yeah, in part because there's yeah. going to be eighty to two hundred thousand yeah. non-Vermonters yeah. driving around. Right. Um, so I think the schools are getting out early, business as usual with the town, um, and we'll address any emergencies that pop up during those hours. We're not doing anything special for traffic patterns or anything like that. But we're ready. We are always For ready. the parking lot that will happen. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, yeah. Some towns are, um, some of the down, the other designated downtowns are, um, and uh, asking the schools to just not even do a half day that day because of the time that they'll get out and right. how they would potentially be in the in the mix. Yeah. But um, and the Boston Globe did an article that named St. Johnsbury's the number one place to be. Perfect. And um, <laughs> Newport the number two place to be. Um, so yeah, they're all up here in the kingdom. I mean, Saint, the, Saint Albans. The path too, right? of t Saint Saint Albans, Albans is doing a big event, and Saint yeah. Albans is closing school for the day because they just don't want people out there getting picking up Learning. kids or having buses oh. or mm -hmm. because the anti they're anticipating people, you know, trusting their GPS and getting stuck on muddy back roads trying to cut through or. <laughs> How you is know, this different? circumvent traffic. I know, it's just going to be a lot more cars, apparently. I didn't care what lick about the whole thing until, you know, all of a sudden everybody was freaking out. So I guess it's going to be a parking lot. Nothing new. It'll be kind we of an interestingly busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Okay. <laughs> um, Can I just add that the library and then, has a lot of information for mm -hmm. folks who are interested? Yep. It's great. A great resource. Yeah, they're doing kids programs and they're going to be in the park that day. Yeah. So, um, there's a lot of uh, uh, like restaurants in Barrie that are normally closed on Mondays are going to be open. So. Yeah. And then uh, this is a little East Hardwick information. Um, there might be some changes up there this summer. So, VTrans needs to work on the big dig. And off the Belfry Road on the LDRT. You guys know where the where the big dig out is. Yeah, right north by the hearts. The from by hearts, yeah. Okay. Has any, if anybody has seen it, it's you huge. should go check it out because it is crazy. I don't think I have seen it. Okay. So when? if you park, you can kind of like. So from heart, if you were on Belfry Road just by go heart. North. Just go north towards Greensboro. It's literally north, going north. back towards the bend. Yeah. Okay. Just walk on the rail trail, like right along the Hearts property. Yeah. You can't miss it. You, you, you can't miss it. You might roll into it. Wow. It's really worth seeing. Okay. Yeah. So that project, they, they're calling it the Big Dig. So that project's going to be summer long. So they're going wow. to close the trail at Ward Hill and detour people down it. Ward Hill into the East Hardwick to get back okay. on the trail. Yep. So by kind of skip the end, sort of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the trail will be open yep. northbound to Greensboro. Yep. But it'll probably be closed by Tucson Hill. I don't know where they're closing it up there. Okay. That's going to be a summer long project wow. because they can only get one truck in at a time on both sides because <laughs> there's no place to like turn around and uh, get more trucks in. So. Huh. There's it's really crazy. I'll okay. have more information on that. I'm just letting you know yep. that they're asking for towns the town approval to do that. So that's why I'm I'm sure there'll be some uh, uh, formal approval, but I'm just giving you the heads up. So they want some. Do we want to have make a motion and put it in our minutes tonight? We can, yeah, and then get it over with. Somebody want to move to allow VTrans to do that work on the rail trail? We're not allowing them to do the work on the rail trail. We're allowing them to do the detour. Do the detour of the rail trail onto our roads. Yes. I can motion that we approve a detour as needed for the big dig in East Hardwick on the rail trail. Yeah. Okay. Second, if you need that. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? 
Danny, did you hear all that? No, uh, Sean Collins, terrible tonight. Uh oh, we got news. Uh -oh. But you folks are all talking, you know, at the same time, basically, it's, uh, you can't understand it. Something about a detour, this is a big day. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, in the, uh, basically, detouring off the rail trail, kind of skipping the bend while VTrans works on the um, Big Dig, which is near the Hearts property. Um, off yeah, Delphi. sound quality tonight's zero to minus three. What does this push mean on this microphone? Does that mean anything? I think that mutes means it. mute. Mute. There should be another thing that gets plugged in that picks up. I don't know up. if you've got too many microphones or, or multiple microphones speeding or what, but the sound quality is terrible tonight. But, uh, well, for the sake of uh, moving along, go ahead. Whatever you did, it's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am saying, but because I didn't hear it, but uh, yeah. yeah, whatever. All right, we'll work on we'll work on the sound uh, if we can during the meeting, but we'll carry on. Thank you. All right, so and motion that, motion oh, yeah. carried with four um, eyes. And then that's it for me. Okay. Um, I've got, um, this short, but it doesn't look like there's a road foreman's report, and both and our chief's out of town, so, but I can give you, they were, do you, you want to give us the short, yeah. whatever you know on me, both of those? They were doing, um, ditching in East Hardwick and grading on the roads that they could get on, uh, last week they did Strat, this week they did Strat and Nichols, Pond, and Dutton Road, uh, and they've been plowing. Insulting. I'll say that the improvement on Nichols Pond was tremendous after they mm -hmm. created it was had been just super potholy. Yeah. And so it was much better. Sounds like there's some reverb now happening. Oh we got feedback now? Not exactly feedback. It sounds like frogs or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. You're done. All right, we're moving along. Uh, Hardwick Electric Department report, Michael Ambrosino, I do not see him. So we're going to just move on past that one into item one, which is select board to consider approving Hardwick Electric Department's request for a bond bank loan to pay for flood repair work. And I'd just like to give a little intro on this. This is, um, so Probably most people know that the wool cut generating facility was washed out in the flood in July. Uh, and Hardwick Electric has been, you know, right on top of getting all the all the components of that sent out for repair, the electronics, all every the turbine. Um, but it's expensive. And so um, they there's a the Vermont Bond Bank put together a an, a short-term loan fund that municipalities can access to get funds in order to cover their expenses until they get FEMA reimbursement. And so that's why uh, that's why it's coming to us because it's through the municipal bond bank and or the sorry the state bond bank and um, but it's for the electric department. It'll be repaid through mostly through FEMA reimbursements. And it's the best rate that they're going to get anywhere is something like 1.3% or something on this loan. And for a loan of this size, that makes quite a difference. So that's why. And we, it's on us to approve it because it's actually backed by the full faith and credit of the town. Even though it's being repaid, it's going to be on the books of the electric department and repaid through the electric department, and they're going to manage it. But this is similar to two other grant, two other bonds that are currently uh, outstanding and being paid in this way. Um, the Hardwick Electric has one from 2008 and one from 2012. I can motion that we approve the Hardwick Electric Department's request for the bond bank loan for flood repair work. Is that what we need to do? That's good. Uh, actually, in the amount, at, um, 
I think there's a resolution we need to pass. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. There's stuff. There's, there's like stuff. Okay. Oh boy, is there <laughs> There's stuff down. there's stuff for Tanya, there's stuff for us. Mm -hmm. Um So should I read this? Oh no. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, That's I suppose if you want to. <laughs> Do you want to? I just, was there a language you need to add to the motion, or is that enough for the motion? Well, I think the motion would be that for the select board to approve the resolution and certificate as written and, um, and will append it to our minutes or something like that. So moved. And uh, that's a not the correct amount. No, it, they amended the amount. It's now 1.2 in June. Yeah, yep. but that's not what's here. Hmm? But that's not what's here. That is going to be updated. That's the one that's going to be updated that they need your signatures on. This is just for the signature page. Yep. Okay, but generally what this, this is. This yep. has been updated. Thank you. So we had a motion. <laughs> Did we have a second? This is a loan agreement. It's called the Municipal Crime and Recovery Fund. Second it. Thank you. This is the, do you have the resolution? You do. You have it. Yeah, but this is the, you just passed me the loan agreement. The resolution, I just wanted to okay, hold read on. the exact amount. I handed it to you. We've got this one. Oh, is that in our packet? No, it's just next to you. Oh, it's next to me. Thank you. Oh, Resolution. No, but it's still. That still says 1.4 million. That's what they have to change. That page. They all, they all have the same dollar amount. No, this one doesn't. Oy, oy, oy. There we go. Hold on, hold on. 1.257. There we go. So the bond is going to be in the amount of one million two hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars. When I and then so Eli, Eli Emerson, the attorney, says when I get them back, I will revise to remove electric department and change the loan amount. Great. I'm attaching the other three documents that need signatures. Okay, so those are Ed's versions. Great. Yeah. Um, so. The reason we have so much paperwork floating around and it's a little bit in flux is because this process is this is new a new program for the bond bank. Um, Eli Emerson has been getting preparing the documents, but the town's lawyer uh, Ed Adrian also weighed in and made some changes, and so we have a. That's why we're at where we're at. But we're gonna um, if we go ahead, we sign what's in front of us. It all gets to it'll be put in escrow essentially with Eli, the closing is Tuesday, I think. Does that sound right? Yeah, everything needs to be in by tomorrow. Everything needs to be in by tomorrow for a closing on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And we don't want them to miss the boat because we would all pay for the higher. Electric rates. Well, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so. Don't mix those up if you can help it. <laughs> This is the one with the right amount on it. This is Tanya and Eric. Okay. That's the one with the right amount. But this is the signature page yeah. that you just passed me. Mm -hmm. those are the Keep ones it. Need. Keep that one. Those are the ones, those, need those are the ones we need to sign. Okay. So you made a motion that we approve the resolution and certificate. I seconded. And you seconded. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Danny, can you hear us? Nope. No, I can't hear you well enough to vote. Ah, this is frustrating. Okay. I'll, uh, just, I'll abstain. Yep. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we need to sign this, and then um, do we need to? Do we also need to have a motion for the loan agreement? Because this looks like there's a signature. It's set up to be signed by me and Tanya, it looks like. 
Do we have a few? Wouldn't hurt to have a motion to authorize the select board chair to sign the loan agreement for the Municipal Climate Recovery Fund loan. So moved. Thank you. Second. Second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. So we'll assume that Danny is also abstaining from that one. Yeah. Because he can't hear us, which is just not that fun. Uh, can I use your pen again? Oh, yeah, sure. Great. I'll, take Dan I'll take Danny. Oh, great. Okay. So you need to sign uh, I'll sign this. Sorry. Okay. This to Tanya. Oh yeah, this is just for our viewing pleasure, I think. Can I add something while we're signing? Yes, go ahead. Um, I'm not sure if Michael about is going to, it's just about Harbor Collective, yeah. that we got, uh, am I allowed to talk about thanking Nat for his service? Yeah. So Nat Smith is resigning from the commission. He's been a member for a really long time. So I just wanted to say thank you to Nat for serving on the um, Harbor Collective Department Commission. And there will be an open seat coming up for that uh, commission. And that's in June is when they typically put forth nominations, right? We usually do it. We may want to consider um, filling in an interim yep. for the rest of that term. So if anybody's interested in joining the Harbeck Electric Department Board of Commissioners, they meet on the first, third, when do they meet, Third, third Monday. <laughs> Third Monday of every month, 4 p.m. here. And Nat was, where does he live? Greensboro. Greensboro. He's Greensboro. Yeah. So the seat can either be filled by Greensboro or Harvard, right? Or any so, of the served towns that are served. Yes, it could be any of the towns the, that are served. That's been okay. changed. Yep. Uh, I think, I believe a person there's, has to be a um, customer of Harvard Collector. I'd have to check. This one. Oh. That's the obligation. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a different thing. Okay. That's another piece of the bond, which isn't, you know, <laughs> I guess it's not even actually a bond. It's a loan, I think. I don't think they're selling bonds. Okay. Our seal. This is the only difference. This one's not changed. I don't know if you want to scratch it out. How are we on bond paperwork? Do you guys think? Are you no. Of the electric line? Yes. I don't know what the difference is. That I wonder if we like muted the electric You might want to scratch that out. Just put that on. It's a good idea. If they're actually hooked up. Yeah. So while they're signing going on, Casey, <laughs> Kaylee has a good idea. What if everybody meets except for one person? And we'll see if Danny can hear us any better. Good. Yeah. Is there another signature page of the? Oh, there wasn't just that. Danny, can you hear me? <laughs> Experiment fails. <laughs> Experiment fails. <laughs> OK, well, we tried. Well, then right. didn't do it. I know, but still, so this is the one. Yes, so. I mean, it's shared. So the top pages will be fixed. How are you guys doing? Email. Email. Do you think we've got everything? Yep. Okay, awesome. Thank you, everyone. <coughs> Next is item two, select board to consider approving several liquor licenses for renewal. We have a list, and there were no... Um, Problems at any of these locations, they're all renewals. Uh, 
course I can't find it. Do you want to know it. what the list is? I would love to have the list read. Uh, for second class licenses, uh, Walgreens, Eastern Company, the GSB, which is DNL Beverage and Deli, and Global Montel Group, which is the Jiffy Mart. For do we do separately liquor and tobacco, or do we do everybody? Are you you can make a motion to approve all of them. Is okay. there any issues with any of those? No. No, it says no, so no on the bottom. Oh. So, so as a slate, those second class uh, liquor licenses, and then um, for tobacco license, Walgreens, Eastern Co. Hardwick Convenience in Delhi, DNL Beverage in Delhi, Global Montel Group, which is Jiffy Mart, and then Tobacco Substitute Endorsement, DNL Beverage in Delhi, and Global Montel Group, Jiffy Mart. So you're moving that we approve all of those? So that we approve all of those because there are no infractions. Great. Do we have a second? Second. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the liquor and tobacco licenses, please say aye. 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 Any aye. Excellent. Any opposed? <laughs> Motion. I could. <laughs> <laughs> the motion carries, and you still are having, it's still hard to hear us, apparently. Is this streamed? Is this, is this streamed live? No, 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 no. I was going to say you could watch the stream. <laughs> um, that would be a reason to stream. Yeah. All right, next is item three, select board to consider participating in the Vermont Department of Health Program 3450, Commitment to Reducing Chronic Diseases. Um, so basically the 3450 is three... Um, lifestyle choices or habits are associated with four chronic diseases and cause 50% of the deaths in Vermont or something. Did I get that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Three behaviors, no physical activity, poor diet, tobacco use, lead to four diseases, cancer, heart disease, and stroke, type 2 diabetes, and lung disease result in more than 50% of deaths in Vermont. There we go. And so I did read through this stuff, but participating in it means that we'll, um, that we have or will adopt policies that, that promote changes to improve these. Uh, we will put things in place to change behavior. Probably should have talked about this before voting on the uh, tobacco licenses, since one of them is limit the number of tobacco retailers through the town uh, and language. So, yeah, <laughs> but um, that gets us a gold star, not you know. We can oh start, right, we can I mean something those. to work for next year. Yep, <laughs> might make some people upset. Yeah, maybe. So some of the, the examples were like signage in public spaces about limiting tobacco use or like things like within 20 feet of a municipal building please or this is a like drug free that's state drinking law. free it's all state law but but yeah. actually putting up signs yeah that's something that we could commit to as a, an example well we could go through Actual these signs. and wow. check yeah. those off right? right and somebody's gone through and checked off some of them and then no, it's in the yeah so how I think how we could do it in government is adopting or updating our policies that support health and wellness, improving organizational and service delivery system that will support healthy Vermonters, promote changes in the physical environment that make it easier for people to be healthy and support their organizations, supporting their organization's membership and implementing recommended strategies. That's part of the commitment letter. Well, right. If we go through these and see what we haven't checked off, it's like, are we going to conduct retailer audits? Find some, you know, find a 16-year-old to try to go buy tobacco or what? Like, what's that look like? They do that. Right. The state does. The state yeah. does that. Mm -hmm. I don't think they really do it much anymore. It used to be a big thing. <clears throat> I don't see any downside in committing, and maybe it'll help us uh, create some better 
policies and have it be a goal for um, some of our, I think it meets some of the things we're already doing, like the pedestrian bridge would be a good example. Um, we already have a plan to, or a hope to improve some sidewalks. That all fits. Mm -hmm. I don't see, I don't see a downside in committing other than, you know. Yeah, there, there doesn't seem to be any penalty to if we say we want to do this, but right. then we don't actually exactly. get very far. So of, we may as well try. So one of the things, um, add a permanent town budget line item for recreation investments. I think we had that mm -hmm. we, the recreation committee. Mm -hmm. We do. So that's good. And okay. this might be a great thing to share with the recreation committee. Yep. And maybe they could utilize some of the resources that are available. Yeah. Will it cost us anything? Good question. It doesn't say that it's... Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. <laughs> Should we mess Go ahead, her? Kristen. Amanda, did you tell her the sound's really bad? Um, you might want to just tell her the sound's bad. Are you talking about the 340, 450? Yes. yes. Would you like to share something? <laughs> it's it's not going to cost the anything I filled out the application for you. Yeah. I think we got the gist of that, even though it was a little garbled. Um, so she's saying there is no cost and it's basically filled out for us. So somebody. I can motion that we. Um, that we participate in the Vermont Department of Health Program 3450 commitment to reducing chronic disease. And authorize the town manager to sign the commitment letter. Is that in your yes, motion? Yes, that's in my motion. Lovely. Seconded. <laughs> Seconded. Any more discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 And then Dana can't hear us. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to call him? Would that like create a little weird feedback? Yep. <laughs> it would. Could put him on. Like speaker or something? Yeah. Yeah, probably. You can try it. You can put it under the table. <laughs> I suppose if you call him, he answers and you put it on mute. Yeah. And just speaker. Hey, I'm interested if Kristen can hear you guys well. I'd be interested too. We couldn't hear her very well, but that's just because she's in uh, Green. I couldn't hear her well. No. Amanda's asking. No. <laughs> That's got to be really frustrating for you too. Sorry. <laughs> it's nice that you couldn't hear it. <laughs> I know. Um, all right, I'm going to move us along because here we are. This is the technology we have. Next is um, oh boy, we're supposed to discuss with the zoning administrator who we're having trouble communicating with. Reinstating. I'm going to have her call. Yeah. Okay. So, good idea. Well, Kristen, call in to talk about reinstating flood permit fees in the near future. Those were suspended after. I can only call one person at a time. So. What's wrong with you? Do you want to call Danny and just put him on speaker to listen? Yeah. And you can mute him? Just try it? You can't do three-way calls. <laughs> yeah, but that's, a, that's advanced technique. You can also have like Yes, I could. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. We could, you're all chopped up. You got that uh, Greensboro internet. Oh, great. Well, you guys, you can't hear anything you guys are saying. Yeah, we, we figured told that us out. That. <laughs> hey, I'm just going to put you on to speaker. Sound I'm going to put problem. you on mute, and hopefully you can hear us through this. <laughs> so tell Kristen she's up. With her agenda item, mm -hmm. or with yeah, Kristen. So we're we're on. Tell Kristen we're on item four, and we're discussing the possibly reinstating the flood permit fees, and we're supposed to discuss with her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down to ten people. Ten, ten people are left to get 
Hey, did you put me on mute on your phone there? I did. Unmute me on your phone. Because <laughs> he can't, if you mute, he can't hear us. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I knew that. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Jesus. 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 Okay. Sorry, go ahead, Kristen. Start again. Okay. Oh, Danny, mute your phone. Oh, mute your computer. There you go. You got it. Okay. Got it. Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Man, it's a carrot. Okay, back in July, you waive the fee. And I'm down to 10 more properties. Okay. Chris, Kristen, do you want to do a, like a like 15 day grace period right now, or do you want to just do it effective immediately? For effective when? Um, why don't we say reinstate zoning and reporting fees for everyone who was not in fact? Okay. What if we so, said April fifteenth, or is that not a month? Sounds great. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. So um, I'll make the motion that we reinstate the um, zoning permit zoning fees. fees. Zoning and recording fees. Um, Flood impacted. For flood impacted properties um, uh, on April 15th, because it's such a popular day anyway. <laughs> 2024. Somebody want to second that? I can second that. Okay. So, all right, so motion is to reinstate the zoning and per uh, yeah, the recording fees effective April 15th. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Great. That's everyone. Motion carries. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Kristen. I'm going to hang up now. <laughs> all right. We won't be offended. Okay. Bye. Okay. Um, next up is item five uh, select board to review and consider approving changes to the town's economic development loan policy. Interest rate changed, the interest rate changed on loans, can charged just, on loans, sorry. Can we just talk about this a little bit first, sure. just like describe why we're doing this for folks? Yeah, and it's, the change is on page three. Yeah. Do you want me to do that? If you, you, do if you like. Um, yeah, go ahead. Um, so we're basically we're reviewing the policy because um, the current the way the policy currently reads is um, that our loan interest is pretty close to whatever loan interest is available through the banks and we felt that that was really high and the goal of this program is to be putting money back into the community for businesses not for us to be making money off of interest um, so we we're looking at ways to change that so that way um, that way it's not a percentage like 7% or 8%. Um, so we're looking at having the fixed interest rate be 1% over our deposit rate. Currently it reads 1% less than the bank uh, than the bank rate. Prime. Prime rate. Bank of Boston Prime rate. Yep. Bank of Boston Prime rate. <laughs> yeah. And then there are just a couple other grammatical changes in this policy. Um, but otherwise, that's the change. And so do we, do we have a motion to approve the, the amended uh, economic development, economic loan fund policy? So moved. Second. 
any more discussion about why we're doing this or what we're, what we're, what we're, what we're trying to accomplish or... All good? Yeah. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right, motion carries, thank you. Next is item six, select board to review and approve fiscal year 25 annual financial plan for town highways for VTRANS. This was in our packet, it looks kind of normal, right? Could we have a motion to approve the um, annual financial plan for the highways as written? So moved. I can second that. Any questions, comments, concerns, discussion? Just this basically. Is something we do on an annual basis. And it lay, this kind of just lays out our our estimated spending for the year. And we've been pretty close in past mm -hmm. years, I think. So we try to stay with that. Yeah. yeah. So all in favor of approving the the plan that we're going to submit to VTrans, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries, thank you. Next is item seven, select board to approve um, the statement of work and contract for municipal technical assistance program for design and engineering of the municipal complex on Creamery Road. Uh, I get a chance to review this and um, I, I have to say I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this is a real plan to actually try to move us forward on this project. With a pretty quick turnaround, I think. This will get us closer to shovel ready. Minimally yep. excited about going. Huh? He's minimally excited. <laughs> minimally excited, but excited. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's motion. We haven't had motion on this project. Movement. Yeah. Movement, but yes it's, no it's good it's really good and uh, yeah it's awesome so uh, just to to summarize for anyone who doesn't know um, basically we're the we're looking at uh, the feasibility of moving the fire department up to creamery road um, replacing the town garage with something that's more suitable for the size of the equipment that we now have and um, accommodating uh, rescues needs as much as possible um, all on that same property and so this this is we got a um, a good grant to help us with this um, and nvda is gonna you know contract with somebody to get us the everything we need to start moving towards actually building this project so this is a step in the right direction. It's the first, yeah, well, yeah, almost the first step, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and uh, there'll be plenty of time to weigh in as, as the project proceeds. So, all in favor of um, approving this. Uh, Can you just authorize me to sign a contract author with them? There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can motion that we authorize uh, the town manager to sign a contract with NVDA. Sounds good. Second it. For the municipal technical assistance For the, For the MTAP. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Now we got it. <laughs> All right, so. Danny seconded. And Danny seconded. We've got a motion and a second. So all in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, that's everyone, so motion carries, thank you. Next is item A, select board to review and approve forest management plan for the Vermont Route 14 North gravel pit to be submitted to State of Vermont Current Use Program, action needed. We've got a whole book here. <laughs> Should anyone wish to review it, it's gonna be in the town manager's office. Yeah. Yeah. We had electronic copies. Motion to approve, motion to approve forest management plan for 14 North Gravel. Yeah. Second. Second. Any uh, discussion on the forest management plan? That looks pretty good. That's required. Um, to get into current use. To get into current use. Um, and we, the plan is written for uh, in one stand 
for expansion into the bank. Right. So that's an important part. Yep. Yep. That that it's an excluded area as far as um, current use is concerned, uh, where the gravel pit is, and that that area is big enough to allow us to get into the bank and do some crush ledge. And there's no water issues there. Right. We're not affecting. Yep. Great. That's favorable to an active fifty amendment. Hopefully. Um. Yeah, great. Uh, any other discussion on the forest management plan? All in favor of approving it, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, just while we're on that, just to touch on, um, do you, we know where we are with asking for an Act 250 amendment? Um, I have a meeting scheduled with Gary next week. It's a, it, he's supposed to reach back out to me. We've talked Monday. We're yep. going to touch base again in a week. Okay. But so I don't have any updates. But he's still working on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, all right. Next is select board reports. Nothing about the yellow barn, Eric? I can. What do you want me to say? <laughs> it's still it's still looking good. Uh, if, if, you know... Boy, if select board members had a chance to stop in and peek in there, it's the barn itself is getting pretty close to finished. I mean, not not all fit up for Cabot, but it's looking pretty pretty good state of finish right now. It's fun to check it out. And the final, the completion date for Cabot is the July, right? We're anticipating they'll be in there with their store in July. Wow. That's pretty fast. Ac and accessible. Like open to the public kind of thing. Wow. wow. Cool. Yeah. That's exciting. Is there going to be a party? Is th So you're the second person to ask today. <laughs> I have no idea. Is there any room in the budget for There's no room campers? in the budget for anything. I can tell you that. <laughs> Bring your own everything. Exactly. <laughs> Table, chairs, streamers, balloons. Bike rack. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a big update. Okay. Uh, any new business or old business? Um, I just wanted to, there's, I don't know if this is new or old, but Kristen was willing to be the NVDA representative instead of me. Oh. So can cool. we do yeah. that yeah. at this meeting? Sure. Can we sure. make that change? Mm -hmm. um, I can, do you just nominate her? Yeah. I don't know. Yes, you would nominate. Denominate you and nominate. <laughs> no, just nominate right. Kristen Lee to replace I would like to the thank, seat recently. Thank vacated. Sherry Cornish for her years of service as the NVDA, NVDA rep and nominate Kristen Leahy as the NVDA rep for the town of Harbrook. Yeah, so it's an appointment, right? Appoint yeah. It's an appointment, so we're, yeah. So yep. we're appointing her and we're going to contact NVDA because I don't know that they ever knew that I was it again. They may still be sending stuff to Danny because they sent stuff to me for a long time when Danny was it. So there's a rollover thing that needs to, or maybe they've never sent anything to him at all. I don't know. But somebody needs to contact them and let them know that Kristen needs to be on their mailing list. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Great. So we, uh, so we got to thank Danny too. And yeah. thank Danny for his. Yeah. Thanks, Danny. <laughs> How many meetings did you go to, Danny? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's tough. It's tough because a lot of their board meetings are on our Thursday night, on our select board night. So oh. it makes it really tricky. He's, he's muted. Yeah. We, we didn't hear you. They have a meeting tonight I'm not at. Oh, it's tonight. Yeah. yeah. So it, it'll, it'll be helpful to have someone who's not on the select board actually be able to. Somebody can actually go. Mm -hmm. All right, so nomination for Chris, all in favor of appointing Kristen Leahy to the, our, as our NVDA rep, please say aye. 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 I, will, I will personally make it my mission tomorrow to let them folks know that she is the new rep. Awesome. <laughs> all right, so that motion carries. As my, as my first and only, as my first and only thing I've done. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to... Danny and Sherry and now uh, Kristen. Yeah. And hopefully, yeah, that's great. If we get somebody. It's important to be 
to have some eyes and ears at those meetings. I, I totally. was the NBDA rep when I was on the planning commission and right. the DRB. It's I important. went to the meeting. It's important. Yeah. yeah. But if you're on the select board and the meeting's the same night, it's really hard to go. It's hard I went to, go. to quite a few, but uh, yeah, it's tricky. Um, I have one other item. Go ahead. I wanted to just announce again that the town does have glasses for the eclipse viewing. Um, $20 a piece. <laughs> they are free and they were at town meeting. They're also in both the town clerk's office and the town manager's office. Library may still have some, but they are around. So people need to know that. I, apparently there's still some people that want some and need some. I believe they do sell them at the Galaxy Bookstore as mm -hmm. well. They're not at Whistle. <laughs> the health department recommends not using the glasses. That's not true. <laughs> Just stare directly Actually, at the, the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. It's All right. important. Okay, okay, okay. I don't Any, know how anybody could miss it. That's yeah. great. Um, I'll walk around that day and hand them out. Any other new business or old business? I just have a quick. I just have a quick thing that I think we mentioned. We talked about mentioning in the report, but forgot about with the um, with School Street in East Hardwick. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, we applied for a uh, hazard mitigation grant for that. Yeah. Um, it's still kind of up in the air with what we're going to do, if, but likely we're not going to reopen that road again. Yeah. Um, the bank is still moving, and I'm hoping it's going to get close enough to Route 16 where the state is going to say to come in and help. So are there Jersey barriers that are actually blocking people from driving in there? We'll probably move those once the summer months hit or like they were put there for storage we were going to make a one lane road yeah but we probably put those jersey barriers because they were moving them last summer but we just didn't plow it at all this year so yeah yeah there's and now we have some more but snow it's, but it's actually moved yeah when it melted yeah yeah i know and and now we have some more snow maybe but um when there wasn't snow people were going that way they're still driving over there yeah yeah. Which okay, really and that's the landslide. When you said landslide, you were talking about that area. School Street. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. New business, old business. Last call. How'd your psychic medium thing go? Oh, the townhouse had a first event. Yeah, last week on Friday, they had over 140 people there. It was a good wow. audience, and apparently, people were pretty pleased with it. Yeah, it's all good. Great. Cool. Um, do we need, we don't need an executive session. We don't need to do that. You don't have an update for us. So we're going to skip that. No new information. Mm -hmm. The only thing is that we had talked about the last meeting, having a conversation about traffic and Hardwick this meeting. So maybe we can add it to the next agenda. Traffic about. Summer traffic control. You mean and for the construction on the bridge? Yeah. So we had a good discussion about that in this morning's bridge meeting where um, Opie pointed out that it really will be the um, within the means and methods that the selected contractor uses to manage um, whatever impact they have on traffic. And present us with a plan. They'll need to work with the town manager's office, but. Yeah, okay. Because we don't know what equipment they're gonna need right. to move when and where. Right. So they'll come up with a plan for traffic control and then right. present it to us for our approval. If there's certain things that are going to take up more time, then we might. It's a it's a good enough location, or it's an easy enough location to do night work. Mm -hmm. They could light it up pretty easily. It's a small area, so if there's going to be like lane closures, long periods of time, we could mm -hmm. we could ask them to do night work. Yeah, or like parking bans at night and stuff like that. Park, sure. Yeah. Whatever. With, they'll they did night they'll work, tell yeah. us. They'll tell us okay. what they need. Uh, okay. Has anyone thought about things like a lot of that work may might be done from the dentist side anyway with the crane? Some of it will, Probably. but not all of it. I mean, not boring Kong. No, no, there's going to be that much of a disturbance. There well, needs to be. Well, so what I. So I'm just rejoining this process, and I'll share with you what I learned today, Danny. Um, and that is that on the Main Street side, they're actually going to need to do quite a bit of work to the existing wall that holds up the fence that Lucian built. 
um, and the abutment for the bridge needs to be completely replaced, and so there's a fair amount of work that does need to happen from that side. So, when are we expecting that to work? Start July. July. Yeah, targeting. We get targeting bids. July. Targeting start of construction mm -hmm. in July. If we, what? If we get contractor bids. Yeah. If and we get bids. Within budget. Right. So, but the current hope is to go out to bid before the end of April. Mm -hmm. yeah. It probably needs to be out to bid for 20 or 30 days. And then we should know, um, we should have some bids. I have a better idea of the timeline. Mm -hmm. And how, and Likely cost. Likely probably be August, September, October, November. So I'm hoping for it. All right. All right, anything else? Adjourn. Thank you all. Bye-bye, Danny.